Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're taking a look at the Mahindra 4025 tractor that I recently purchased and uh, it's time to start doing some mods on this thing. I'm going to be doing a lot of work out in the woods and going through thick brush and stuff like that. And of course I'll keep the bucket down, but what can happen is, is if you go over saplings and stuff and you don't break them as you're going over, they can whiplash back up and hit your grill. And I've seen several of these uh, Mahindra tractors where the grill is punched out and if you're not careful, it can even like get through there probably and punch your radiator out and stuff like that, break your headlights, do all kinds of damage. So we don't want that. Uh, so I think the first mod you should do on your new tractor, probably whether it's a Mahindra or any other kind, seen a lot of guys take expanded metal and weld that in there. So that's what I did. And today we're going to reinstall that. Uh, if you don't know how to weld, hopefully you've got a buddy or somebody in your family that can weld for you and you can just go get a piece of expanded metal. I actually used a really old used piece. So it was rusty and I had to sandblast it first and it kind of adds to the character of the thing. So uh, if it ever got stolen, I would know how to look look exactly for that grill. I'd be like, okay, yeah, that was the grill I used because I used a piece of old rusty metal. So let me get it over here and show it to you. So here's what we've got. This is what I ended up with. I'm not the best welder in the world, but I got the job done. And it's solid and it doesn't rattle around. So we're going to get this installed. It was fairly easy to take off. Uh, had to end up getting a crescent wrench because I didn't have a wrench big enough to uh, go after it. Uh, but I had this, the right size socket. So let's get this reinstalled. You know, since I uh, didn't take a picture beforehand, I should have, but uh, since I didn't, I can't remember which way if the bolt went from the inside to the out. But either way, I'm going to change it around. I'm going to reverse it from the way I've got it right now. That way the threads will be inside and they'll be therefore more protected. Alrighty, and there we have it. And yes, it may cut down on my headlights a little bit uh, because of the grill there, but it'll protect them. And honestly, the headlights aren't that great when you've got a front end loader anyways. Uh, otherwise, you have to run the bucket way up high for them to be effective anyhow. So, real happy with this. Only took me a couple of hours to do the mod. It was fairly straightforward and easy to do. And I highly advise you to do it, especially if you're gonna be working in woods. If you're just gonna work in an open field, you probably don't need this mod. Uh, but if you're gonna do any woods work, I highly advise you to go ahead and uh, do this modification. Uh, I might, I haven't decided yet. Let me drop the camera down here. Now that I'm looking at it, I'll just take it off here. Uh, 
I might actually want to come down below this just a little bit like right here and throw another piece in right there at an angle. I may do that. I may not. We'll see uh, because it does leave that bottom open there a little bit. Another thing I could do is just run like a single bar across or something like that. To uh, uh, One reason I didn't want to do that is that uh, this thing, it actually expanded quite a bit. When I took it off, I could see it moved in quite a bit. And I was afraid if I welded it all the way down, it wouldn't allow that little bit of expansion that it needs to lock everything back in place. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, it looks a lot better, I think. And most importantly, it's going to serve the, the purpose that I need it to serve. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Highly advise you to do this mod to your tractor. You'll love it. Uh, there was some talk online about whether you needed to run a crossbar in here in between. As long as you get a thick enough gauge metal, I don't think you need to. I mean, I'm putting all of my weight into it right there. And I'm getting very, very little flex out of the out of the expanded metal part. So uh, this should be a really good mod for what I need to do. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, thumbs up and comments help the videos to get more views and stuff like that. And of course, share them with your friends if you think that'll be beneficial to them. But yeah, pretty cool mod. Real happy with this. We'll see you next time.